Hi guys, Frugal Gal here. On the road, going to my big hometown of Salem, Missouri. If you ever wonder where I live, look it up. Don't move there. No, we don't live in town, we live out of town, but it's, uh, eh. Anyway, um, I just took a shower, so my hair has got, like, thickener on it, so I don't care. You get to the point at a certain age where it's just like, I'm clean. I've got clean clothes on, my body's clean, my hair's brushed, my teeth are brushed, I'm good to go. I'm going to town because I have medicine to pick up, um, I have to mail this book back to return it. It's a book that I ordered, I was lured in by a Facebook ad that said, um, that I could get this book, do these exercises, you know, and it would be good for, um, well, good for strength and everything. I got the book and I thought, what was I on that night when I ordered it, thinking that I could do these kind of exercises? I'd be in a full body sling the rest of my life. So, thankfully, I emailed them. They have a 60-day money-back guarantee, so they sent me a prepaid um, label. And uh, so, I'm going to do that. Go to the post office with the tracking information so I can tell them to send it back. And then, I got to get my medicine, like I said, and I've got to go get my parents something from McDonald's because my mom's hand is all swollen up, her right hand, but she's left-handed, but, um, because her great-granddaughter, my great-niece, Lana, uh, who she might have watched in that, uh, reel I did for, it's called a reel when it's on Facebook, yeah, um, likes to, it has no fear, the girl has no fear, and if you're anywhere near a, she's near a bed and playing on it, she loves, loves, they both love jumping on the bed, and if you're sitting in the chair by the bed, she will just come Supergirl fly at you, remember Supergirl? I had that book when I was a kid, like in the 80s, the original Supergirl, like Superman, but it was Supergirl, fly at you, and just, whether you're ready or not, she's just confident you're going to catch her, she has, like I said, no fear, and my mom did that too many times one day, and she's going to get an x-ray tomorrow to, while, when I go to cardiac rehab, just to make sure that it's okay, but I did the same thing with, we both have fibromyalgia, I did the same thing years ago, I showed her the picture, I helped moved out her, her not refrigerator, I keep saying refrigerator, but it was her uh, washing machine to help, we're going to try to change the filter on the back of it, and the next day, like, my hand sold up, like, a mound, and that's why hers is there's heat in it. I gave her my brace, and she's been icing it, but, uh, I offered her to take her a day to get an x-ray, but she just wasn't able to get in the shower and do all that. So, anyway, I'm going to get them something to eat at McDonald's, and, um, uh, just chit-chatting with you. How you doing? Now, I've got a question. Do any of you guys, okay, I, like, I've got, you know, I've got the heart disease. I've had the quadruple bypass. I've got fibromyalgia. I've got 10 eyes per size. I've got all the itises, tendonitis, bursitis, uh, arthritis in the shoulders, in the um, femur bone, in my hips, in my, you know, whatever. In my, I got some arthritis in my neck, in my hands, in my thumb, whatever. Um, and I got neuropathy too, but my neuropathy is numbness. There's no pain with it. There's swelling. And everything else, I got high blood pressure, diabetes, blah, blah, But anyway. With the fibromyalgia, I don't know if it's a fibromyalgia, but when I only had fibromyalgia, I wasn't diagnosed with all these other things. I've always been a night person, and I'm not talking like, no, don't say like, I hate when people say like. Um, I'm not talking as if I just prefer nighttime. It's I feel better after the sun goes down and it's dark. My body feels better. I have more energy. Um, I can do more things. I am mood-wise, I'm happier. And daytime is a struggle. I'm in pain. You know, and I'm not saying every night. I still am in pain while I'm trying to sleep. But like yesterday, I pretty much stayed in bed all day, whether I was sleeping or not. But then I stayed up all night, and it was just like, oh, I can sweep my floor, which is a big deal. Me sweeping my floor. It might not sound like a lot to take a room and sweep a floor, but it is for me. You know, I could get up and make myself some coffee. I could do some things. And I was in a better mood. I could do, I could list some items. You know, I was thinking more clearly. Is that going to do your circadian rhythm? Is there like, do you guys know what that is? Does any of you have fibromyalgia and you feel that way? Because I felt that way for so long. And I don't know what it is. But anyway, because my blood pressure's down now. My heart rate's down. Since open heart surgery and my medicine I'm on, all that's good. 
they are going to have me run a sleep apnea test because my shortness of breath is not caused by fluid around my heart. Uh, he thinks there's some fluid around my lungs. And I didn't know, I knew what sleep apnea was, but I didn't know it could affect your breathing in the daytime. You get shortness of breath. I didn't realize that. I, and I'm pretty sure I probably have sleep apnea. They went, wouldn't want me to run that test for ages and ages and ages. And I just thought, I don't want to be diagnosed with another thing. And I didn't want to go sleep in a lab. But I recently knew somebody who went and got hooked up and they can do it at home now. And I'm hoping they can do mine at home. And then I volunteered. I want to go see a nutritionist to get a, a nutritional diet made out for diabetes so I can uh, regulate my blood sugar better. So that's my end of the story. I'm getting ready to turn to, um, I guess I'll hit the post office first. Um, get rid of this book and get the tracking information. And that's my day. Go pick up meds that I, I hope they have my Paxil because if they don't, oh, I'm going to get, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be not nice tomorrow. Well, I have one left, so I'd be nice tomorrow, but the next day, watch out. So anyway, uh, have it rain here a lot so it's really really humid and that really bothers my fibromyalgia so anyway take care thumbs up share video like subscribe if you haven't and talk to you later bye